Hey guys, um, welcome back again to my video. What you can see here is a Wolf Predator um, LSF. I've been waiting to have this um, piece for a long time and finally, um, as, after seeing a lot of pictures, I'm really happy and um, I hope this um, piece is going to be, uh, nothing's broken, all that kind of stuff. But again, you never know, right? Um, so, let me tell you guys one thing. This piece is damn heavy and when I'm saying ha damn heavy, it's actually 60 pounds. Um, 60 pounds if you carry by yourself up and down the stairs it's a mighty workout it's a mighty workout all right so without further ado guys I'm gonna do unboxing so very nice first of all it comes with the booklet uh, it says Wolf Predator legendary skill figure and has the um, the um 20th century fox and legendary skill and this is pretty much what a statue looks like, hopefully, and comes with the um, the guiding book, um, the story of the predator, and um, tells you pretty much um, how to do the um, unboxing and everything like that. Very very nice. So the guy who made the statue is um, Paul Komoda, um, another great sculptor. That's comes guidance book as always. Um, it's a lot of things, um, but you know, I'll show it to you guys later. But I really hope that nothing goes wrong with the statue. That's what I'm afraid about the most. Okay, so um, this, this box is very very big. Um, so you guys can see, I heard some like kind of rattling inside. I'm really scared right now, to be honest, and I hope. Nothing is um, broken or something like that. You're really pissed off. So as you can see, um, that the um, the box is uh, three layers, three tiers size. Let's see, one, two, three. So let's open up first. Hoping nothing is broken. If I was really skeptical. Wow. Wow. I'm actually pretty surprised. Everything looks okay so far. I'm gonna show you guys. That's how big it is. That's the predator. And comes with the spear and and comes with the, all these accessories. Okay, and that's the um, that's the whip in here. Goes all around. So let me take this out and show you guys the base so I'm gonna lift this up and show you guys uh, the one on the bottom which is the base so let me first check wow this thing is very heavy and very good very good condition again um, so next thing I'm gonna do is open up the bottom just the base. You know, when you buy the statue, first they should put the um, the base on the top, and the statue is on the bottom. The reason about it is because when you open up the box, the first thing you want to take out is the base, so you can put the base on the table. So you can display and then take one slowly, but instead you have the statue on the top and the base on the bottom. A little bit inconvenient, but what the hey. Um, the other second thing that they could have done is the um, um, when you know with a zipper box, they should have like um, a handle on the side, you know, when you can actually hold it. So when people, the the people, the UPS or whatever it is holding it, they don't have to carry it, you know, um, in a, such a hard way, and you know, and so it goes to the um, you know for the buyer as well. So anyway, so. 
I'm gonna have to cut this, this video short, guys, and um, I'm gonna show you guys the second part, which is the um, the statue, all right? Take care. So now we're looking at the um, removing the layer. I'm gonna show you guys the alien head and everything in here. Oh shit! Is it broken? I hope it's not broken. Oh shit, I guess the head is broken. Yeah. Hey guys, um, welcome back again to my review of the Wolf Predator LSF from SciShow. I got this statue um, finally in my house and um, I'm very in complete disbelief of their um, quality and uh, and the production piece very very impressive um, I have a few flaws in my piece that I'm gonna get my replacement from SciShow but uh, I'm just gonna show you guys um, exactly okay so the thing that's missing is this here um, the mouth is broken this is the, the part is broken so I'm gonna get it a replacement from SciShow or uh, for the base it's a clean break, um, it's just pretty much if I want to glue it, I can glue it back in right there, no problem. Um, but otherwise, the paint job on this piece is very well done. You guys pretty much seen a lot of pictures already. You can see the blood, the gooey is coming down there. The aliens, um, xenomorph, um, you know, the effect of it when you actually uh, go sip into the ground, very very nice. Um, very very nice hand details in here as you can see the fingers um, very cool um, that's the, the the wolf predator alternate head I mean look at this um, hair guys I mean the, the, the braids are just freaking amazing yeah the details and the the quills you can see it's one you know it's um, done each um, professionally um, individually um, you know hand place very very cool the quills yeah very sharp though so um, luckily none of the um, the heads are broken so I'm pretty happy about that and the face is just yeah um, that is badass yo that is just badass so again uh, let's go to the alien the alien is very nice very nicely painted. Um, I was hoping that they could have done more, um, a bit more, um, you know, uh, what do you call it, um, see-through um, dome, as you see on the alien. But this is the alien warrior, so pretty much it's a different genre, I guess. Well, I'm, I might be mistaken, but I don't know. Very nice um, touch on the base. Very just general um, color. I wish they could have done more paint to it in here. Um, I, I was comparing the paint job on the um, the Wolf Predator compared to the um, the prototype. Um, I like the thing in here a lot. I mean, people hate it. A lot of people hate about the um, the the netting on the legs, but I think it looks way better with him having the nets. Um, the other thing that I find it, you know, a bit lacking from Sideshow is this um, those um, tiny horns on on the back on the foot. Um, if you look at the, the prototype, the um, they painted very, you know, uh, very nicely. It's not like just like bland white in here. They actually have like um, you know like tusk um, effect to it, um, old aging look to it. So that's what um, things that uh, could have been done better. And even on the toes, um, uh, in here it's missing under, missing a lot of paint in here, but it's fine. And even this part here, if you look at the um, the size of prototype, um, you would see it's um, more like um, orange or like gold um, color instead of just um, um, gunmetal so far there. But overall, the piece is amazing. It comes with a lot of accessories. It comes with this um, necklace. It comes with this belt here, um, and it comes with the um, you see in here. There's a pouch. Actually, that's where the um, the blood. Uh, this one, how you test the uh, the tracking? Have you seen the movie? Um, yeah, you put it in there. Very nice. Um, 
very nice detail on the uh, on the visor you can see in the visor uh, has like grit inside there very cool could have done better with the um, like um, lighter feature in here it would have been so much nicer but whatever uh, the coils on the side very nicely um, placed no broken pieces whatsoever so I'm pretty happy about that that's the main piece um, on the back piece it's just incredible a lot of details a lot of details so this piece actually came apart um, it's detachable the head is came off the, the two rifles plasma or cannon um, detachable as well very very nice uh, I tried to follow the uh, the guidelines uh, when you try to put the um, to assemble the whole head together, but I find it easier, much easier if you install this, the rifles, and then you install the backpack, and you install the, the you know the spear if you want it here on the side. Do it before you put the head on, because once you have the head on and you try to put all these pieces together, it's gonna be hard for you to maneuver and try to reach under under the hair. So do it before you put the head on. Okay. Um, and I have the spear, the hand holding the spear in here. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I have two spears, but you know, um, the other hand is actually has the uh, the whip. It goes like curl um, alien's tail like this. It's holding this um, whip, and it's flexible on the hand here. Uh, I decided to keep it in the box because um, you know the the, the whip is kind of heavy and um, it might actually fall from the hand. So I don't want to do that. Um, leave it as it is now. But yeah, man, this is so freaking impressive. Just damn impressive. Very very nice skin. Overall very nice. Would I call this one a grill? Yes. I think this is another grill from the sideshow, um, from the Predator collection. As you can see, this is my old Predator, the maquette very very big again this piece very nice I'm planning to display all my predator together but um, so far this this thing is taking so much space um, and um, yeah I also like the um, so this thing actually is um, detachable the belt um, so you can actually take it out. In, in, even the necklace too are detachable. So um, very very nice again indeed. I'm watching Predator. Yes. Oh yeah. Ouch! That's gonna hurt. She's sexy, I like her. <laughs> and this is the, um, again, the, the cinema cat, predator. Yeah. So, again guys, I um, really like this piece. Um, it comes with the, um, you know, the inscription in here. It has a crack, um, you know, a biomass. Um, pretty much telling the story how much you know how many fights he's been into this um and this predator um, alien hunt and finally you know yeah all right guys so I just want to end this um small short I guess video um, the reason why I'm not so happy is because this thing is broken but again you know um, get that one fixed or maybe get such should have give it back to me um, the new replacement. Anyway, so I'm going to sign up for now and I'll talk to you guys again later and happy collecting. Take care. This is to show you guys the, um, the switch out hand with the whip. And this thing is possible. Uh, you can pretty much, you know, post it whatever you want. I decided to go this way because um, there's a lot of that. It seems like the, um, the wires has a bit to weight, weight to it. And I don't want this to crack at all by the hand. So, I decided to go that way. And that looks nice. Good enough. Alright guys, just 
show you a bit of that. Thank you again for watching and take care.